Hi everyone, I'm Trina from the Meteorological Service Singapore or MSS in short. Today I'm here at the Centre for Climate Research Singapore which also houses the Upper Air Observatory. Did you know that we launched the weather balloon twice each day since the 1950s? Have you also wondered what sort of data it collects and how they are used? Let me bring you on the learning journey now to find out how does the weather balloon work. Joining us today is my colleague Dalan from MSS Meteorological Observations and System Division. Hi Dalan. Hi, hi everyone. So how long have you been working here Dalan? Uh, I've been with MSS for about 10 years now. Wow, that's very long, that's a decade. So tell us a little bit more about what goes on on a typical day of work here. Yeah, yeah sure. The first thing I'll do is to start up the sounding system and make sure that the program is operational. Then, I will proceed to prepare the radio sound by initializing it. After which, I will then proceed to fill up the weather balloon with helium gas and just before releasing the balloon, I will check that the weather is clear and obtain the approval from the Paya Lebar Air Base Tower. Once the balloon has been released, I will then monitor the flight and check the incoming data for errors before transferring them to our forecast operations department. That's very interesting. Um, I think a lot of our viewers are also very keen to know how the weather balloon works. Share with us a little bit more how it works. The balloons are filled with helium and we launch them twice a day at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. local time. Each balloon carries a radio sound which comprises sensors that record pressure, temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, and direction at various levels of the atmosphere and can reach up to heights of 35 kilometers. As it ascends, it transmits this data to our network real time. While we do have many automated weather stations on the ground, the balloon provides valuable data from the upper levels of the atmosphere. This will aid our meteorologists in day-to-day -day weather forecasting. This thermodynamic diagram neatly presents the data for visual analysis and enables us to determine the likelihood for a thunderstorm or a dry day to occur. Talan, thank you for sharing with us your work here at MSS. Uh, it's really a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. For the latest weather updates, do download the My EMV app or visit the MSS website. Have a great day, everyone, and see you again.